Hi, everyone, and welcome. Check out this scene. Tremendous buzz in the building here today. A lot of excitement around this college football matchup. And today, we have a collision between two rivals from the Mountain West Conference. As we'll see, the Boise State Broncos taking on the UNLV Rebels. Boudier Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Broncos will kick this away to get us going. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. So the UNLV Rebels special teams don't do the offense any favors with that return. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. And I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. First and ten play coming up. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Offense getting set. It's second down. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Press the 45 now. And it's a huge chunk play. The tackle was finally made, but the ball moved to the 47-yard line. Here early in the game, the defense right away realizes what they're up against. Having an opportunity to move this receiver around to give him a chance to get out in space are the plays that can really cause a defensive coordinator headaches. A handoff from the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. Second down play coming up. And there's the handoff. Get some space around the 30. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Takes the ball, tries the right side here. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Was that supposed to be a sweep? Unbelievable job by this defense of recognizing the play and showing their speed there to blow this play up. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To throw, it's Sluka. Receiver makes the grab. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. Seventh play now, the opening drive, but it's third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. No problem. Knocks it right through. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 nothing.
So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. The Boise State Broncos offense gets their first crack now. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Hand it off for a draw. When they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Important second down play coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. That's a solid run. Good for first down yardage. Off the play fake. Looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. That play makes it second and ten. Here's the handoff. They've got him down out near the 40. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. You snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. He bought some time. Now lets it go. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. One of the areas that separates good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offense is on third down passing plays. And that was a perfect call and really well executed. And the Broncos are going to keep this drive rolling. QB decides to keep it here. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Set for the sixth play in this drive. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. The Broncos have first and ten here. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Quarterback escapes the pocket. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field, and that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. will try to recover now at second and 12. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. Man, I love the route here by the receiver. Really sold these going vertical downfield. Ends up coming back to the football to pick up big yards. So now it's third and short in the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. And they hand it off to the back. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. 
Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. And the Broncos line it up with first and goal. First and goal, handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. It is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line, eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the seven. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Now they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Great job with the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Offense looking to throw the ball. Launching one to the end zone. Looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. Chris, you get this deep into an opponent's side of the field and come away with three instead of six, man, it is a letdown. That's certainly not what they're looking for here on third and long from inside the red zone. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. Pick is up and no good. A missed chance to tie this game, still down by three. the Rebels offense back out on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. There's a wide open receiver complete. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. One play, and they're already past the 40, first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. Game makes it second and medium. Handoff here from the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they could convert third and short here from the 50. It's an option look. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, this defense can fly to the football as a group. That's great team pursuit. The quarterback a little unsure on whether he should keep it or pitch it, and the defense makes him pay for that with their speed. And the punt team now on to kick it away. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 29. Well, let's give credit to the offensive line here. They went with a run blitz. The offensive line sees it, picks it up, gives them enough room to pick up some solid yards. Second down play coming up for this offense. 
He'll ride the back again here. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle made after a big game. Well, let's give credit to the offensive line there. They were able to pave the way for that first down. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And they get him down to wrap up the first period of play. Well, Kirk, it's UNLV with the lead now. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. The Broncos come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Tackle made at the 21. This offense in great scoring position now. That run picks up first down yardage. A fresh set of downs for this offense. The shotgun running play called. Just a small gain. Look at it, second and nine. And the Broncos are in the red zone. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Eludes a tackle. Can he reach the end zone? And he stopped just short down at the two, but an excellent run. The Broncos looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Off the play fake on first down. Looking for six. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. What a call with a play action down inside the five-yard line. Completely froze the defense. Their eyes are in the backfield, locked in on the quarterback. They lost focus on where he might be throwing the football. Made an easy read for the quarterback and a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Kick goes through, so it's 7-3. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee to bring the football out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. Here's the option play. The back's got it on the pitch. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackled, but not before picking up big yards and a first down. Defense couldn't stop the option that time. Well, the defense got out-muscled at the point of attack there, and the back showed good vision to get to the hole and get the first down. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Takes the handoff again. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. A gain makes it second and medium. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. An important third down attempt for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Sluka. 
From the pocket, delivers over the middle. That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. A new set of downs after that completion. An inside give now from the shotgun. It's good for a three yard game, so second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's play action. Couldn't find anybody open. It just has to throw it away. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And he's run out after a big game. The offense will be set up with first down and goal. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, you're inside the red zone, which means you can't come away with anything less than three points. But you know this offense is thinking about a touchdown. They're trying to get to that end zone. They go with the toss play. The big boys up front being mobile, moving around, and the running back trying to get behind them to find yards. It's exactly what he did there. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he scores. Touchdown, Rebels. Can you say methodical? Marathon March Kirk just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 10-7. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. And that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the running game. Let's see if they can do it again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion, an open man downfield. The ball's just about to get to his receiver. Then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. After the incompletion, they'll have to try to convert here on third and nine. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. 
This is a nice job here by this defense on third down. They take away all the options downfield, and they recognize the quarterback scramble. He almost comes up with his first down, but they keep him short to set up this fourth down. And the Broncos will send the punt team onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. And the returner will be brought down. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. And the tailback's got it again. The junior able to bring him down quickly. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Back to pass. It's Sluka. Sideline catch Bay, but out of bounds short of the first down. The punt team making their way on the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Oh, it landed at the seven and bounced into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And the pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Catch made over the middle. Tackled quickly after the catch. She'll be short of the marker. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. And he drops back in the gun. Looking right, this one caught. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. Easy route, easy throw for the quarterback. Good decision here by the offensive coordinator on third and short to just get the ball to the playmaker, make that catch, and pick up the first down. The Broncos with first and 10 here. Quarterback keeps the football. They've got him down out near the 40. the second down play. And a handoff as they run the counter play. Breaking free at midfield. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. Well, Chris, that's a combination of really good blocking and outstanding patience by the back. He waited and waited and used his vision and patience to allow that play to open up and then accelerated through the hole to give him that huge gain. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. And the Broncos looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there.
First down sack pushes the ball back. Second down coming up. That's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. Second down now after the sack. And the quarterback dropping back. And the pass rush has got him again. Back to back sacks. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. You gotta think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. After consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air, which it's the Jonte. Timeout is called by the defense. That's their first of the half. You know, it's third down as a quarterback. You're sitting there back in the pocket trying to find a matchup that you like. Pretty much everything taken away. I like his thought to get it to the running back because he's a talented, gifted player. But he just could not wiggle free to pick up the first down. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And the game is now tied. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And he'll leave the kickoff right there. He'll start with the 25. Here comes the Rebels' offense back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this room? And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. So it's second and long at the 20. Scanning the field. It's Sluka. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball often so fast that this is a great example for young players on the defensive line. If you can't get to the quarterback, watch their eyes and try to get your hands up so when the ball comes, you can knock it away. Takes the handoff. It's Thomas. He shreds the tackle. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. He's on to boot it away now. The turner one down. Sets up the next drive. So about 30 seconds to go in the first half. They'll come up on first and ten. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Incomplete. So it's second down and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Receiver makes the catch. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. That completion sets up a third down play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Locates the tight end. It's complete. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. The Broncos getting set on first and ten.
Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Running out of time in the pocket. And with nobody open, he chooses it to just throw it away. Chris, on this play, he has nobody open. It's better than taking a sack. He doesn't get intentional grounding because where he threw it, there was an intended receiver. I think there's no harm, no foul here. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of a half. Chance for just a couple more plays. He's back to throw again on second and ten. To the left side, but incomplete. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. This will likely be the last play of the half. Trying for a fourth down completion. Looking to throw it deep. They can't come up with it there, and that's going to do it. Time runs out in the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. And they'll kick it off to begin the second half. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. Second down after that previous play. It's a draw to the back. Breaking free at the 35. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. I love the call here by the offense coordinator. Perfect time to be able to go with this draw. The defense is expecting a pass. They're dropping out into coverage. The back's able to get that ball underneath and pick up some big yards. And the Broncos come up to the line in a hurry up. It's a shotgun run call. Great cut. They whiff on him. Explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30 yard line. The offense really clicking here. Trying to catch the defense with the draw. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Offside, Offside defense. defense. What I always love to see on these offsides call is when they're always pointing at each other. He did it. I didn't do it. Put it on him. We know this time it's on the defense. They're going to make the right call. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, throughout this game, they've shown a number of their base run plays in the first half, so it's good to mix in the counter here in the second half just in case the defense is starting to over-pursue. Keep an eye, and if they pull that play again, maybe later in this game. 
The Broncos will line up here on first down and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. He's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. Solid first down gain sets the ball up close to the goal line. Can they finish it off here on second and goal? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. So they get closer, but now they line up on third and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. Touchdown, Broncos. They will claim the second half lead. Well, I just love to see an offense finish off a drive. You get inside that five-yard line, you've got to be able to pound the ball to the goal line and into the end zone. Great job to finish it off. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And after the extra point, it's a 17-10 lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Play action fake, looking to throw. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Quick throw complete to the tight end. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Now, fourth down. Punt team ready to boot it away. And here's the return. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. The last drive, the ground game, was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. It's a really good, solid run. I know it's not the flashiest big play, but it's important for your offense to be able to get yards like that on early downs. You stay ahead of the chains, and it opens up the playbook for the second and third down coming up. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, nowhere to go on the inside of that draw. Tried to bounce it, Kurt, but nothing doing. 
How about the push there from the middle of that interior, that defensive line? As you said, nowhere for him to go, so he's trying to make something out of nothing. And by going out wide, he puts himself at risk of being chased down by the speed of this defense. And that's what we got, a loss for the offense. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. There's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And it's just flat dropped on third down. What a big mistake. Now this offense facing a fourth down call. The coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. Trying to knock it through from 48 yards away. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And the returner will be brought down. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. They begin with a quick throw to the left. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. But they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. There's the handoff. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. The punter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? To the air. It's Sluka. Quick throw. Catch made. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. On the kick now for the fifth time today. No fair catch. Looking to make a return here. And the returner is brought down. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. They'd love to stretch the lead here with a touchdown. Had to settle for three last time. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 45. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. And that run is good for first down yardage. A new set of downs for this offense. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. He's moving out of the pocket. Breaking tackles. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Second down here. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. He's moving out of the pocket now. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle.
And the Broncos will have first and ten here. Using his legs, it's Jante. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They're going to run it here. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Ball handed to the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll run it here. It's the running back with the ball. And tackled after a small pickup there. The offense eager to keep this drive going, but facing a third and long from the 20 now. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Catch made. Looking for the goal line. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Touchdown, BSU. Still no answer for this offense. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Now that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. Now the all-important extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Looks like the returner will try and feel this one. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Rebels offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Let's check out this running back from Harrison. These guys have been excellent, pounding away and seemingly only getting stronger. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Looking to pass, it's Sluka. Pulls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. He gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting into the way of that and knocking it away. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Receiver makes the grab. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. 
really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Pulls it in. It's Thompson. He picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First down and 10 now. Back to throw again. Makes the grab. It's Thomas. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. That completion makes it second and medium. On the flag is out before the snap, the defense may have been a little bit over eager that time. Encroach, encroach, defense. 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 Mental mistake by the defense, a five-yard penalty. Offense getting set, it's second down. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush, it's a sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback looking to scramble. Slides to avoid the big hit. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Dropping back. It's Sluka. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain there. This defense has been getting sliced up on the drive, but they push back that time, Kirk. Yeah, kind of a bend but don't break mentality by this defense. They have been giving up some big chunks here on this drive, but let's see if a stop like this can give them a little bit of confidence here. Now try to pressure the quarterback on these upcoming plays. Nice grab. It's Rodgers. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Fans of the defense got to be frustrated. The offense cannot be stopped here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's finally tackled at the three. Defense getting pushed backwards. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And now the handoff. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four down territory. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets them right back into this game.
And they're trying to punch it in here. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. Man, it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards instead. You're going backwards. That's going to set up a very important second down call here. Ball back at the six for a second and goal off that loss. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown, UNLV. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Planning up to try the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Love those positive yards on first and 10. And it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second and inches. But sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Second down play coming up. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Grab down the middle, it's Wagner. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Not huge yards, but all that matters is he catches the ball, secures it, and picks up first down yardage. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Gonna run it. It's Jonti. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Good enough for first down yardage. They bring him down, but the sophomore quarterback shows what a cannon he has. Some really tight windows to throw into for this quarterback with the defense sitting back in zone. But he finds the curl route, and he shows you his arm strength by getting it in there. The Broncos are moving quickly down the field. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Trying to extend the play. He's going to take off. The ball is loose. And the ball will bounce out of bounds so they avoid the turnover. And the Broncos lining up here on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, the offense tries to go with a play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying it. They applied the pressure, came up with the sack. line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. 
Well, this is just an outstanding job by this defender being in phase against this receiver and being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, and that ball's not intercepted. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Ending off on the draw play. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. The Broncos will have to kick it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 10. Here comes the UNLV offense back out there. Let's see if they can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. Important second down play coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. That gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. Hey, that's what you're looking for right now as an offense. Nice big chunk play like that. Moving the ball now into plus territory. Keep looking for those big plays downfield and hope to be able to get the ball into the end zone. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Makes the grab. It's Thompson. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Offensively, you get to the fourth quarter, you're down in a game. You're thinking about vertical shots and getting out of bounds to try to stop the clock. If I'm a defensive coordinator, I'll give that up all game long. Short little routes, tackling them inbounds. Let's keep that clock moving. Looking downfield, it's Sluka. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got it for a big game. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught in the flat by the running back. Defense surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Look at a chuck it again. He's escaping the pocket now. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. That's the two-minute warning here. This offense desperate to cut into this lead and then try to get the football back. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. To the air. It's Sluka. He's running out of time here. And he's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Finally, the defense is able to come up with a play on this drive. Let's face it, this offense has been able to put things together. Quarterbacks had a nice drive, but finally, great job of getting the pressure and getting after that quarterback. The clock is still running. I'll have to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. 
different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. First down here for this offense. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And a defensive coordinator must be thinking, it's about time. This running back has just destroyed this defense. And this time, they're able to get into that backfield and come up with a nice play. Hands it off on the counter. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What makes a really good counter play is selling it to the defense. You're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the Broncos will bring their punt team onto the field. We'll see what he can do with the return. And the coverage team ends him in and brings him down. The UNLV offense back out on the field now. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. Bringing pressure. Defense is coming after him. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Well, this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page. They've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field. Second down play coming up for this offense. Dropping back. It's Sluka. Now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. Catch made way downfield. That's going to help the stats a little bit. It won't make a difference in the outcome. Man, the defense seems to be all about loading up to stop the run. They're creating some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and the quarterback and receiver make them pay for it with a great play. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. They come up and quickly spike it, stopping the clock. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. This offense has done what's been asked of them. They get the touchdown. Now it comes down to can you recover the onside kick to give yourself a shot? They're setting out to try the PAT. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. There's the snap, and he just takes a knee. Final score, 